Sweetlings, it's me again, Yuli. Before anything else, I'm going to share you a story. Your client ko, my website siya. And this website developer or website builder yung nagahandle ng website niya. Dahil nga sa nangyayari pandemya ngayon, doctors are offering telemedicine consultation to their patients. And telemedicine is the use of telecommunication technology to provide real-time health care to patients at a distance and this website builder offered this add-on service that she can use on her website after a month of using this add-on service we later found out that this particular add-on service that offered to my client i free pala parang the trick siya into paying something na talaga naman for free. Aware lang yung client ko na free pala yung website. So this website is dogsimi.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make an account, how to set it up, and how everything works. If may mga alam pa kayong free website na that are secured and are following HIPAA and BAA rules, please leave a comment below. And let's get started. But before we start, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click that notification bell para kapag may bagong video ko, kayo yung unang makakita. Let's start! So, this is the homepage of the doximi.com. It's a simple, free, and secure telemedicine solution, and you can immediately sign up for free. No application that you need to download, it's free to use and they already meet the worldwide security requirements and also BAA included once you sign up with Doximi and it's for free. You can also see the testimonies of the physicians and specialists while using this Doximi. Now let's go and make an account. Now, in signing up, you have two options. You can either sign up using your Google account or sign up using your Facebook account. You can also click the highlighted sign up at the bottom. And if you click that, ito na yung makikita mo itong sign up form that you need to fill out. So for the sake of this video, gagawa tayo ng account. And since personal information ang gagamitin ko, ibublur ko po parts of this video. Once naka-sign up ka na po, ito na po yung tatambad sa'yo. And excuse my dying face, tired face. <laughs> But yeah, ito po yung tatambad sa'yo. Makikita mo agad itong welcome message ni Doximi as well as the invitation link mo na dapat mo i-save kasi ito po yung ibibigay mo sa mga clients mo or patients mo kapag may magsiset up ka ng schedule for telemedicine consultation. You have the options po na mag-make ng pre-call test agad na makikita mo at the bottom left of your screen or mag-change ng settings ng iyong account. Ang una ko talagang ginawa after making the account is nag-explore explore ako kung ano yung pwede kong gawin dito sa um, Doximi. May mga tips, suggestions din sila na pwede mo ding ibigay sa mga clients mo or patients mo na bibigyan mo ng invitation link. Now together, let's watch this video checking in as a patient. Meeting with your doctor is simple and easy with DoxyMe. Click or type in the website address your doctor sent you. In our example, Dr. Smith sent me a message with the link doxy.me slash Dr. Smith. Make sure you use the Chrome or Firefox web browser. The first time you go, you will need to give your browser permission to access your microphone and camera for the call. A check-in box will appear where you can enter your name so your doctor knows that you arrived. While you wait, you can explore your doctor's waiting room. Your doctor will start the call when they are ready. So, 
So, ayun nga, once you click the invitation link and type in your name and click OK, Doximi will send a notification or an email to your client that someone is already waiting in the Doximi waiting room. Now, you can select what type of notifications ang gusto mong matanggap. If gusto mo ng desktop alert, email alert, or text message alert. Now, let's go to extensions. Dito sa extensions mo, makikita itong mga video tutorial kung paano mag-photo capture, paano mag-group call, mag-screen share, mag-file transfer, and mag-make ng payment. Now, ipapakita ko itong lahat na mga video tutorial sa inyo. So, grab your snack, sit back, relax, and let's begin! How to use the photo capture tool While on a call, you can use the photo capture feature to take a picture of your patient, ID and insurance cards, or anything else currently on the screen. Simply press Photo Capture in the Extensions panel. When the patient is ready, press here to take the picture. If you need to retake it, just press the X and try again. To save the picture, press the Download Image button. The photo will be saved to your default downloads folder on your computer. You have the option of taking a standard quality or high quality image. You can choose this in the Photo Capture Extensions tab in the Account Settings. Standard quality is instant, whereas high quality can take a few seconds to download depending on the internet connection. How to have a group call with group calling, you can have a session with up to 10 additional participants. Group calling is useful if you need to include a specialist, family member, friend, or a translator in your call. To begin, start a call with the first person. When you're ready to add additional participants, click Group Call on the sidebar. Next, you will select which participants to add to the current call from the patient queue. To remove someone from a group call, Click their name in the call participants list and then click the end call button. Screen share is useful if you need to visually present information to your patient, such as showing test results, diagrams, or education materials. To start screen share, simply click the screen share button, then select share my screen. If you have more than one monitor, select the one you would like, then press share. The video in the top right corner shows what the patient is seeing. To end the screen sharing, simply press the stop sharing button at the bottom of the screen. You can also see your patient's screen. Press screen share, then request their screen. They will see a prompt to share their screen and install the plugin. After adding the plugin, they will just need to refresh their page. File transfer is an encrypted, HIPAA compliant way to exchange documents with protected health information between you and your patient. File transfer is useful for transferring medical records, forms, test results, and images during a DOCSIME call. To send a file, click File Transfer and drop or select a file to share. Your patient will be prompted to accept the transfer and download. Request a file, select Request a file from your participant. They will then see a box to upload a document. After your participant chooses the file, click Download to save it to your computer. Setting up payments. Using the DoxyMe payments extension, 
you can collect a payment directly from your patient during a call. You must first connect your Stripe account. Go to Account Settings, then Extensions. Open the Payment Extension Settings. Click Connect Stripe Account. If you already have a Stripe account, you can log in here. If you don't have a Stripe account, fill out the form to create an account, and then click Authorize Access to this account. Now you will be ready to receive payments. During a call with a patient, select the Payment button and enter the amount you'd like to charge. Your patient will then enter their credit card details and authorize the charge. That's it for our video for today. I hope you learned so much about Talks in Me. If you're new here to my YouTube channel, please consider on subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. Click that notification bell because on my next video, I'm going to share with you guys my tips and tricks na ginagamit ko while using Canva. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and suggestions. And you can also take a screenshot of that comment, share it on your Instagram story, and tag me. And get the chance to be featured on my next video. Thank you so much for watching my video and see you guys on my next video. Bye sweetlings! Take care! Bye!